Okay, so I got here my cheap eBay uh, or AliExpress memory card adapter. Uh, can't remember where I ordered this, but anyway. Uh, let's see here. Made in China goodness. Uh, generic PS3 memory card adapter. So you could take your PS1, PS2 memory cards and pretty much transfer over your saves. Let me grab a memory card here. Give you guys an example. Here's one. Uh, here's the official PS2 one. So you pretty much put this thing in here, blah, blah, blah. Plug it in. And then you use a micro USB port over here. These things are really antiquated, but that was the high tech for the time, mid 2000s. And uh, yeah, then you just transfer your saves over to your computer from there. Or uh, you transfer over it's over to the PS3 that's essentially it, and back you're supposed you, you should be able to at least take it off but the problem is that I'm having is uh, I want to take my PS3 uh, saves from my uh, PS2 and PS1 games I played on there I transfer it over to my PS2 because I find it's easier to stream with my PS2 slim because of uh, the capture card that I'm using for streaming so uh, anyway uh, yeah that's not working for some reason on this cheap thing so I'll compare this to uh, the official PS3 memory adapter that my friend lent me you can see the size difference here so this one's a little bit taller actually no it's it's, it's actually smaller now. I thought it was taller for some reason Anyway, yeah, actually it is a little taller, you can see here. Yeah. Anyway, uh, so it's, this thing's, the official one's a wider size. And this one's heavier, obviously. But, but yeah, look at all this stuff here on it. FCC. This is also made in China, mind you, but to the standards that Sony specified, you know. This has a CE. Uh, I'm not sure what CE is, but it's some other safety regulation. Whatever. Let's take the scale here and see the sizes. This battery's low. Okay. Whatever. Let's charge it up again. Okay. Now, now the scale's working. Okay, zeroed it out. Add it in. It weighs at 26 grams. And we'll take the official one here by Sony. 46 grams. You got like 20 grams of more uh, tech gear right there. Let's, let's weigh it again. That's 46 grams. There you go. I don't even have to open it up to see the quality difference in size because there's more components. And this cheap thing is just not working anymore for me. Okay, like the saves won't copy over without it giving me an error. Uh, but yeah, like uh, besides this, uh, there's free McBoot that you could use to copy over your old saves, save files from uh, yeah your old consoles back and forth through the memory card. I tried that, but I had an older uh, Mc, free Mc, or yeah free McBoot. Uh, soft mod on my ps2 so i couldn't do it that was giving me an error also but i've seen videos of guys doing it online and they confirmed it with the the video evidence and uh, the other ways uh through i think it's called the uh, the dex drive i don't know if it's detail dex drive but it's a dex drive playstation dex drive and uh, that's the other way you could transfer your saves over I, I got a Dex drive but i have one uh for the n64 it's a it's an old one you used to have to mail mail it out uh, you could get it online too back in the day, but like, uh, yeah, they're they're kind of more scarce, and they use serial ports, and most people don't have serial ports on their computer. But yeah, that's that's my little rant here on uh, yeah, the memory card adapter. So this thing is going for like seventy dollars plus now, which is crazy. But these things are kind of scarce out there. Um, I'm not sure if it was a, a big deal back in the day. I guess that's why many people didn't buy into it, but 
I guess if you had backwards compatibility, you know, I could see why you would be enticed to get this. I, I played my games a lot uh, on my PS3 when I got it, my older games, my PS2 and PS1 games. Um, even if you have a PS Slim that doesn't have uh, PS2 support, still still worth having something like this. Uh, so if you're big on game saves or you don't mind playing it through, but for games like RPGs, like Final Fantasy VII that I'm trying to play on my PS2, you know, with my PS3 save. Definitely want something like that. Uh, copying over your PS2 and PS1 game saves to your PS3. Uh, this Or onto back onto your computer, vice versa. This would be uh, the third option, like a dex drive like this. It's a dex drive. Now, this one's by Interact, but I think a, a different companies made this device. Uh, I think Detail made it also. Not not quite sure, but anyway, this one's an interact one, and uh, I think I got this one on the internet back in the day. Might have might have got it somewhere else. I can't remember, but anyway, yeah, you, you'd copy over your your saves like that. You just insert it like that. Uh, this one obviously doesn't work because this one's meant for N sixty four memory card. I can't. My fingers and always so. Yeah, anyway, that's the best look you could probably get on it. Set a slot. You can see that's for N64 memory card. I don't have one on me, but anyway. And uh, yeah, you'd have it connected to D9 connection like that. And you'd have to wire up all this stuff. <laughs> Separate power power uh, source to, to this thing. And uh, yeah, your computer also has to have a, a port or maybe maybe adapter. A D9 to USB adapter you could provide a adequate transfer for this thing but anyway that's another option besides the, the memory card adapters you you have to do to transfer over your saves so yeah hope you enjoy this video that's everything